recently uh, why recently over the past many years we have seen a you know renewed interest in uh, becoming healthy and fit at least here in bangalore and in most of and i'm sure in most of the other cities uh, big or small in india it is really heartening to see that the youth and even most middle aged people are becoming conscious about their health they are going to the you can see a profusion of gyms you can see online ad- adverts for eating healthy being healthy developing your muscle mass you know and uh, fitness has become a core mantra for uh, you know a lot of people here in india and this is uh, welcome absolutely welcome and um, you know as uh, one of our seniors used to say and we also follow here uh, in the liver clinic the advice we give is that what is good for your heart is better for your liver so that is very true so we know that exercise is good for the heart and so most people are taking to exercise they are very conscious about uh, fatty liver disease and uh, and and they are doing their best to overcome this problem however what i want to talk about today is about the health supplements which people are taking these nutrients these vitamins this uh, these uh, protein supplements muscle builders and and so on and so forth which people are taking along with doing their exercise so if you go to a gym and uh, get registered or uh, take up an exercise program by and large most people would be offered uh, something as a health supplement along with this exercise package i'm not saying that all these things uh, uh, should not be used uh, but my concern is that you know there are a few supplements which are of questionable value which are given to already healthy people eating well they have no problems eating or consuming food they are otherwise healthy uh, there is no need to resort to taking health supplements which might contain substances which are not really good for your liver see what we need to remember is that whatever we eat or ingest into our body passes through the liver everything goes through the liver and the liver is the central factory in the body where everything is processed especially whatever you eat or take in through the gastrointestinal tract and the liver will get damaged with harmful you know uh, elements which Uh, are consumed in the name of health supplements alternative medicines why even modern medicine medicines itself can actually cause damage to the liver however when we prescribe these medicines to people we are aware of their side effects and we monitor them which is not the case if you are taking something which is not really good for your body through uh, the guise of health supplements or nutrients and in fact Uh, a recent um, uh, national uh, sports champion came to see me in our clinic with his mother and uh, was uh, and, and the mother was very concerned about you know how his liver function test was completely deranged this is a really healthy young man who is maintaining a healthy lifestyle but on deeper questioning i realized that he was uh, taking a whole range of health supplements which really are not needed for him because if you are healthy and fit and can eat well and you don't have any illness there is no reason why you can't eat a balanced nutritious diet which will help you and your liver and also help you build muscle or become fit so my message to uh, all uh, viewers uh, seeing this particular snippet is that you know if you can eat well eat a balanced diet a high protein low sugar low carbohydrate moderate amount of fat diet which will help you stay fit and stay away from health supplements there is lot of uh, evidence out there which says that you know increasing your intake of vitamins increasing your intake of nutrients when you are healthy do not really promote your health